what is up everybody welcome back to my channel if you all are new to my channel my name is danny rose i want to appreciate you guys uh I want to say thank you, not appreciate you guys. I do appreciate you guys. I want to thank you guys for tuning into my channel. If you're new, don't forget to click that little button down below to subscribe and the little bell for notifications. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. This is going to be a step by step. This is for a natural makeup look. Um, if you guys want to follow along with me, go ahead. I'm going to give you a minute so you can grab your makeup and we can get into this. So hope everybody's having a fantastic day right now. Um, I'm going to start out with primer. Now you have to make sure that you have moisturizer, your face is clean. That is the best canvas for makeup. Hey Janelle, hey Cindy, how are you? So first I'm going to start out with my primer. I've already cleaned my skin and I applied moisturizer. And if you guys want to know which moisturizer I use today, it's the Olay Regenerous um micro sculpting serum and moisturizer this is really awesome really hydrating for the skin so i put that on my skin let it soak in and now i am going to use my face primer hey everybody hey angel baby hey lady aquarius hey everybody all right so i'm gonna dive into this now this is my favorite drugstore brand um, primer. This is the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth. It helps to conceal wrinkles, um, acne, any of that good stuff. And it really helps to make your foundation look nice and smooth. So I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to put some of this on my skin. I do put quite a bit because I have large pores. So if you have larger pores, you're going to want to put more on your skin. And you're just going to apply it like you do moisturizer. Now, I have very, very large pores on my nose. So I'm going to go ahead and put just a tad bit more on my nose. Now, this is about 10 bucks. If you go to Ulta, they always have Maybelline. Buy one, get one 50% off. Um, but that primer, I swear by. Over any of the primers I've tried out so far, from drugstore or high-end, this is my favorite because it's the most affordable and it works really well. Now you want to make sure before applying your makeup that you guys have like really clean hands because if you're touching your face at all, you don't want to get any acne or clogged pores from that. So now I am going to be using, this is a Maybelline applicator. This is new, just came out. Um, this works really well for foundation. So I'm just going to go ahead and get up really quickly. I am going to wet this foundation brush. I mean foundation blender. All right, so we have this wet. Now I am going to dive in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So I'm going to be using this in combination with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And this is um, eraser treatment. So basically it blurs and smooths your skin. Now for an everyday natural look, um, you want to keep the foundation nicely blended into your skin you don't want to look too photo finished so i'm using the applicator that comes with this and i'm just going to apply it on my face and i don't have a lot of this foundation left in here so that's why i'm using two different ones actually going to grab my little my little side mirror in a second so what we're going to do is we're going to take what we have first and we're going to use our foundation blender and we are going to work this in to the skin. Now, a lot of YouTubers that do makeup, they use filters and all that goodness um, while they're doing their videos. I don't do that. This is all my natural skin, my natural makeup. It's the real deal me. No filters, no nothing. You guys, just give me one second because I want to drop um, my camera down on the tripod just so you guys can see better. So just hold on a minute. Hold on one minute. I know you guys see those wrinkles. Woo, girl. All right, I think that's better. All right, much better. Now you guys can see me better. So where are we at? We're blending. 
So as you guys can see, I applied the Photo Focus Foundation. Now, I normally always use high-end foundation. However, the Photo Focus Foundation is really affordable and it looks really nicely. Now this is the Maybelline. I'm not a fan of this because of the applicator it comes with. I wouldn't use this to um, apply makeup, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a fair amount of this on my skin. Looking like G.I. Jane over here. All right, so you wanna make sure that your foundation is so blended in that it looks like your natural skin. You don't want it to look superficial, um, like airbrushed or anything like that when you're doing a natural makeup look. Now you can go into your eye area with this. I have to push this hair back, you guys. My God, I have so much hair. It's like unbelievable. All right. I'm gonna just get in here with this mirror really quickly. Now I'm gonna show you how to prime your eyes without having to use eyeshadow primer. I feel like that's an unnecessary expense that you do not need. So you see how I'm dragging the foundation onto the eyelid. And I just wanna make sure this is blended out really good. And the reason I like this foundation sponge is because of the curve on it. This curve helps to get into these creases that are really difficult to get into. And it's okay to go over your lips with the foundation. Um, it actually helps your lipstick stay on better. I am not loving this right now, you guys. I'm about to take this foundation off and put something else on. I don't like this. Okay. I don't like this foundation today. I'm going to try out one of my other ones. Not liking this a lot. Babe, can you get me something to wipe this off with? A napkin really quickly? A napkin. Really yeah. Quickly. yeah. I got you. All right. So in the meantime, while I'm taking this off, because I'm not loving this at all, I'm going to go in with a different foundation. Um, kind of upset that I ran out of this because I like to use this for my everyday makeup. But in the meantime, if there's anything you guys want to ask or have any questions, we're just going to take a brief break just so I can take this foundation off that I just put on my skin because I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. And normally I blend um, two different foundations. It comes out fine, but no, today, no. You guys say what's up to Jay. What up everybody? How y'all doing? Five people watching. Hey, give that video a thumbs up everybody. Show Danny some love. All right. You guys, this was a slight mishap. I never take my foundation off. Oh, you need help with dark circles? I'm going to show you how to get rid of them. Very Me simple. Too. And I have to tell you <laughs> of a secret of mine. For the dark circles, mine you want to take... What? Mine are okay, for the dark circles, what you want to do is you want to brew a pot of coffee and make sure the coffee is caffeinated. Take cupcake, um, cupcake holders or ice cube trays and pour the brewed coffee into that. Put it in the freezer, let it freeze. Then what you're going to do, once it's frozen, is you're going to take the little cubes or whatever you've made, press it underneath your eyes. That's going to get it circulating and it's going to wake your eyes up. That's going to help with the dark circles. But I will show you how to conceal them in just a second, you guys. I just want to make sure I get all of this foundation off my face so we can start over that's one thing about me I have OCD so if I do not like the way something looks I have to take it off I can't um go on with makeup that don't look good because that's not me and really you guys have to try that wet and wild photo focus foundation because it's fabulous i'm super mad that i'm out of it because that's my favorite one to do um, my everyday makeup with i do have some other foundations that are more high end but those are like a full coverage and i don't really like to use that for everyday 
You don't need to wear um, a full coverage foundation for everyday makeup. I mean, if you choose to, you can, but it is not necessary. All right, so let me make sure that I have this all cleaned off as good as possible. So we have a nice canvas again. And then I will get into this. And you guys, the look that I'm doing with you today is gonna be really easy for you to duplicate. I promise. I know I just had this little mishap, but I wouldn't be happy with myself if I would have walked away with that foundation on my skin, sharing that with you guys and knowing that I'm not happy with it. I don't like to do that. So right now I'm just wetting my blending sponge. You want to make sure that you get that blending sponge nice and damp so you see how it fluffs out because that really helps to blend in your foundation a whole, whole lot. And let me just grab a towel, towel really quick. All right. So here we are again. Back to square one. So I'm going to go ahead. You guys seen I use the makeup remover. I took off that foundation I had on. I'm going to go ahead and put on... A little bit more face primer. And you always want to make sure you wear a primer on your skin. I never used to wear a primer, but the reason for this is that the primer creates a barrier between the makeup and your skin. So it helps from your pores being clogged. It's like a preventative measure from clogged pores. Nobody likes clogged pores because then that leads to breakouts. And even if you're an adult like me, um, I have adult acne right here. And it only comes once a month, you guys, if you knew what I mean. All right. So now we have our primer on. I think we are going to push my hair back with a headband while we do this video Ooh. all right so that helps a lot okay so now that we got all this hair out of the way I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth now Maybelline fit me has dewy and smooth and also a matte foundation the matte foundation is good if you have oily skin but the dewy and smooth is really good if you have dry skin and I normally tend to ha be on the drier side um, so this foundation works really well for me. It's only a couple bucks. It's like five dollars and believe it or not It does the job. So I'm gonna put it this I'm gonna put directly on my I'm gonna call this beauty blender even though it's not the beauty blender, but it's the same thing and now we are going to blend out This foundation Hope everybody is doing fabulous. So you wanna just blend it out nicely like that. Now another personal little trick I have is I use this MAC airbrush, foundation brush. And you're gonna put it on with a circular motion. You always want to make sure you blend down your neck so if the color you're wearing is darker, it'll all look fully blended and really nice. So you're going to want to apply this in circular motion and in a second I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender just to hit it one more time you guys. Let's see what we got. I love makeup tutorials, just found, just love makeup. My husband, by the way, found a huge soup bag in our Ulta dumpster. Oh my gosh. Those soup bags, you guys, are unbelievable. Unbelievable. And if you happen to pick up a foundation that's a little bit lighter than your skin, that's okay. Um, because once you contour and all of that, 
you can blend it out nicely. Okay, so I have the foundation on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a concealer. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about the Tarte Shape Tape. That's like one of the best concealers, but unfortunately, everybody can't afford it. So my favorite next to the Tarte Shape Tape is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I use this every day, I absolutely love it. And this is a really, really nice concealer. So what you're gonna wanna do with your concealer um, to brighten up your face and to cover these circles or bags or anything you may have, you're gonna take the concealer and you're gonna draw a triangle. And now for 2017, less is more. Um, Everything's about the natural makeup with the glossy lips. So that's what I'm going to do today. So you're just going to take that concealer. You're going to do a little triangle, kind of like a pumpkin. And we're going to put it under our eyes. Now you're going to take your sponge again. You're going to go under your eyes and you're going to blend it from the inside out and blend it up. So you want to go up towards your hairline on both sides. Now, I am not a huge fan of baking um, to set the under eyes. I do put powder, but I don't bake. Baking is just letting setting powder um, sit underneath your eyes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in. This is Cody Airspun Powder. They sell it in Walmart, and they sell it in Walgreens or in the drugstore. It's like four or five bucks. This is a really great face powder to use to set your makeup, to do underneath your eyes. So while your concealer is still wet, you're going to take your wet, dampened sponge. You're going to go into that powder. And we're going to go underneath the eye exactly the same way we just did with the concealer. And instead of me baking, I'm just going to blend it out. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I check Ulta five days a week. I know Ulta by us is like unbelievable. Like, I don't know. There's We found some other people diving there the other day. And they throw stuff all over the place. So we noticed Ulta's really been destroying their stuff because of that. Which is like sucky. If you guys dive, make sure that you don't leave it a mess. More for the businesses than anything because it's super disrespectful to the businesses. Like, they put stuff out and then people dive and on top of that, they just throw stuff all over the floor. It's so crazy. It's like, it's terrible. All right. So, moving on from that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create an eyeshadow primer without actual eyeshadow primer. And it's important to use eyeshadow primer. It helps your eyeshadow last all day, even in heat, any kind of weather. So, I'm going to go in with my Ready, Set, Gorgeous again. I'm going to go right on the eyelid, just a little dab. Then we are going to take our blending sponge and we're just going to go over the eyelid. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to go in with a little stippling brush and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that face powder and I'm going to put it on my eye. And don't worry about any residue you're getting in your brows. I'm going to show you guys how to get that off real easy. So now this is creating a primer for your eyes without actually having to buy a primer for your eyes. Because like I said, I think that's kind of an unnecessary expense. So we're going to take a spoolie and we're going to go into the brows really quickly just to pull out any excess foundation or makeup that's in there. Uh, you guys, I find makeup in Bed Bath & Beyond dumpsters. That's the best place to find a whole bunch of makeup that is new, that's not destroyed. Um, for whatever reason, they don't destroy it, thank God. But that's that's like one of the best places to go. All right, so now we're gonna get into the eyeshadow and we are gonna try the Tartlet In Bloom. This is one of my favorite everyday go-to palettes. So this is the palette we're gonna use today for this eyeshadow look. So I told you guys, we wanna keep it natural so we're not gonna be doing too much 
eye makeup. I'm going to take my shadow brush right here and I'm gonna go into this color Charmer. Now you're gonna to wanna to take a light color like this and you're gonna to wanna to put it on your whole eyelid. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now there are some brushes that have um, a point for your fingers to place your fingers on. And those are really good for people that are new to makeup because it helps you to have your fingers in the proper place so you can apply your makeup really good. Oh, thank you so much, Cindy, you're so sweet. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go into the color, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with Smarty Pants. We're gonna go into Smarty Pants. This is a really nice nude color. So we're gonna take this color on that same brush and we're gonna go over the eyelid and into the crease. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And then I'm gonna go back in one more time into that same color and do the same thing on the eyelid and into the crease. Now I always like to give my eyes a little pop. This is the hardest thing for me when I do like the natural makeup tutorials because I love makeup and I love having that pop of the eyes. So in order to get that pop, you gotta go in with a little bit of a darker color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this color Activist. Now this is a really dark color, but I'm gonna go in lightly and I'm just gonna give my eyes a little bit of a pop with this. So I'm gonna take a um, crease brush. I'm gonna go into that color. You see how dark this is, you guys? And then you're gonna go into the crease a little bit, and then you're gonna create a V. And you're gonna bring it across your eyelid. You guys see how I did that? Into the crease, create a V and bring it across the eyelid. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to blend this out really good in a second. We're gonna go back, back into that color activist. Make sure you tap off the excess powder. You're gonna go into the crease and create a V and drag it down. So basically you're just creating a V, watch. You're gonna go like that and like that. Now I'm gonna go back over to this side we're gonna blend that out a little bit. And we're gonna blend that out. Now, one of my secrets that I use is I take a regular face brush, a blush brush. Take this, and you're gonna go across the top of your eye, but towards your nose, towards the in, inner part of your eye, and you're just gonna swipe it that way. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And what this does is this blends it out, it lightens it up a lot, but it still gives you that nice pop that you need. I'm giving away um, all the makeup that's in that basket that I showed you guys. Um, I'm gonna think of how I'm gonna do the giveaway while we're doing this video. If y'all have any questions about how to apply this or you need any tips, just Somebody let me know. Somebody wanna know how to do a perfect uh, wing eyeliner. Ooh, you wanna do a perfect wing eyeliner? Um, I will do a tutorial this week on the perfect winged eyeliner because I kill it with the wing. Today, I'm gonna keep it natural yes, like I told does. you guys. Everybody always gives her compliments all the time. So now, 
what we're gonna do, I'm trying to see which color I wanna use for eyeliner. You guys just give me a second because I have a too much makeup basically. I'm trying to find my eyeliner that I want. What is this? No, we don't want Lancome eyeliner. We don't want Lancome. Can you help me here? I can't find this eyeliner. It is driving me nuts. So let me just show you guys one of the tricks to getting the perfect winged eyeliner. One of the tricks to getting the perfect winged eyeliner is to use eyeliner that's in a pot. I'm not doing the wing right now, but I'm just showing you. This is what I use. This is MAC Black Track Pro Longwear Fluid Line. This is going to be the easiest way to get the winged eyeliner with a brush, you guys. Okay. And the reason I take my time and do my videos is because I really like to teach you. Um, so you can duplicate the look if you want and it's not difficult. I know a lot of other, uh, a lot of other YouTubers, they do their videos, they cut out a lot of stuff with editing and I could do that too, but I don't because I really want to help you guys achieve the makeup look that you want. Um, so I go through everything, you know, detailed as much as I can. Let's all right, so we're going to use the L'Oreal, I don't know what this is. I found this in the dumpster, brand new. It was brand new in the packaging. It's L'Oreal Silk Kiss something eyeliner. Anyhow, we're going to take this eyeliner, we're going to put it in the waterline. NYX gel liner is fantastic. So we're just going to go into the waterline with the eyeliner, and you're going to want to just... Hold your skin taut underneath. And then we're going to do the same thing on this eye. All right. So now we have that eyeliner and the waterline. This eyeliner works really well. I've never tried liner. I use a pencil on my bottom lid. Hold on, I'm trying to read. I've never tried liner. I use a pencil on my bottom lid. Guess I'm old school. Oh, you have to try a liner. You have to try it. You have to try it. Listen, if you guys watch these videos, I'm gonna show you how to kill it with the wing because I really do really nice makeup. It's something that I've always loved to do. Um, so I want to share that with you guys. So normally what I would do with this look, if I wasn't going for something more natural, I would put liner over the top and hit it with a wing, but I'm not going to do that. I already created a pop in, within my eyes from that darker color that I put on. So now I'm going to do my mascara. I'm using Stila. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. You guys, if you watch J. Cray TV, this is the mascara. I swear by it works wonders it is the best so we're gonna go ahead and put the mascara on now i do put a lot of mascara on because i like bold lashes i mean i have long lashes to begin with so what i do is i go in with that first initial coat i do my bottom lashes last I don't like to do them in the beginning. So you're going to go in with that coat. You guys, if you do not have this, I know it is a little bit pricey, but you need to get your hands on it. Because if you have short lashes or lashes that aren't that full, this really gives you a pop. It really does. It will make your eyelashes look absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Another trick I do with my mascara is I hold the wand, right? get a good dip in your wand, right? And then take your wand and place it underneath your top lash and then blink. And then do the same thing this way. And then do it on this side. 
and then do it on this side. And that helps to really pick up your lashes without having to curl them. So now I'm gonna go into the bottom lash line, the lower lash, and I'm going to put mascara on the bottom. I don't like to put too much on the bottom, not for this look anyways. All right. There we have the mascara. I still feel like I don't have enough mascara going on right now, you guys. I need to get in that mascara. Okay, that's it. I won't go hard on, on you guys with the mascara today because I'll sit here for an hour and put on mascara. We don't want that to happen. So now I am going to go in to my cheeks. Now I'm not contouring because I'm doing that everyday makeup, that natural makeup look. You can contour and do the natural makeup, the natural makeup look. I personally, I don't do that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one of my blushes. These are the Tarte 12 hour Amazonian clay blushes. Um, I'm going to go in with the bronzy one because that'll create a nice sun-kissed look. And I'm gonna take my blush brush and I'm gonna go ahead and like go hard with that, go in there, get a lot on the brush. And then I'm gonna go in. You, the best way to put on blush, first of all, you wanna make sure you're applying it in the right direction because if not, it will make your face look droopy. So you wanna take your face, smile, and you're gonna to wanna to go from right here, from like almost from the, right behind the apple of your cheeks and blush upward like this. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now I've never been a fan of blush, but you need it to brighten up your face and give you that little color and really define your features. I do like to contour. I'm not gonna contour today because we are creating something that's just natural, everyday look. All right, so that's it. You guys see I didn't go in with a lot of blush. There's no need to do that. You're just gonna take your blush brush, go into your brush, go up like this, and you're pulling it up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the eyebrows. My eyebrows are my favorite thing to do. Um, I do them a lot of different ways. Julie, I actually, um, I've had a lot of makeup companies send me out makeup. I get new stuff all the time and I do videos with their makeup. Um, hopefully I'll get more and more because I love doing tutorials. I think it's a lot of fun. But most importantly, I like to teach other people how to do this. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go into the brows. Now you could take powder in your brows, you can do um, like a brow pencil in your brows. When I do my brows and I want them to look like for real, for real on fleek, then I do the pencil, the um, brow gel, and the powder. But today, because we're doing a more natural look, I'm gonna use the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. And this is in a dark brown color, doesn't have a color on there. So I'm gonna show you guys another trick. You take the applicator and you brush it in to your brow. That's not the trick though. I'll show you guys in a second what I do. And you wanna make sure you have enough. See, it brings, look at the difference. No brow gel, brow gel. So it really like defines your face. It's really nice. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And you wanna make sure you have a really good brow set. Um, the MAC brow set is my favorite because it lasts long, it doesn't look clunky, chunky, nasty. So right now I'm just kinda like tracing my eyebrow with this. And this is very easy for people that are beginners with makeup to do. That's why I use this in a lot of my tutorials. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take your spoolie. I don't know what I just did with it. Oh, there it is. You're gonna take your spoolie and you're gonna pull what you just put in there through your brows. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
And now if you ever get any excess um, makeup on your skin that you need to get off, like I just got some brow stuff, you're just going to want to take a little straight edge brush and you're going to go into it with the brush with nothing. I have nothing on this, you guys. And I just clean up that little area. All right. So now our brows are done. Our eyes are done. All of that's done. Now it's time. Sorry. Now it's time to choose a lip color. Now for 2017, it's not only about keeping it natural. It's also about trying to veer away from the matte lipsticks. No, Candy, if you have a lighter complex um, complexion, definitely use any eyeliner you want. It doesn't matter how fair your skin is, how dark your skin is. Um, different eyeliner colors do different things. So even if you have very fair skin, you can still use um, a black eyeliner. It'll make your eyes pop more. If you want to keep it more subtle, go in with something like a lighter brown, um, which will help to give it that pop, but not so dramatic. Now for lipstick today, I'm going to use one of my favorite things. This is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. And these glosses look like lipstick, but they're actually glosses. Now this is a very nude natural color. It's called Statement Nude. And normally I wear liner and all that good stuff. Um, I'm not doing liner because I just want to keep this natural. So you're going to take this. This is the only thing I hate. I do not like the doe foot applicator that's on this. It's terrible. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and apply this. This is a gloss. Can you believe this? I mean, this is literally my favorite gloss ever. The only thing good about this applicator, even though I don't like it, is the point. It helps to line your lips really nicely. Hey, Lala. If you all have any questions about applying makeup or need any tips, let me know. Um, I'll answer them for you guys. How do you feel about the illuminating palettes? Um, the illuminating palettes are nice. I have to tell you this. There's certain things at a certain age you don't want to put on your skin. So if you're a little bit older, um, you want to veer away from glittery things or... Um, very shiny things because it will make your skin appear older than what you are um, and nobody wants to appear older than what they are and I know a lot of you guys come over from J Cray TV and you're like oh you guys look so young and all this stuff and basically it's because of you know how I take care of my skin I actually do J skin with moisturizer and all the tricks that I teach you guys I use it on his skin I do the coffee um, the little frozen coffee for the dark circles. All right. So there you have it. We have a nice natural makeup look. Do you like the NYX lingerie liquid matte lipstick? Stephanie, girl, let me just show you how much I like it. I have so many of these lip lingerie. Love them. But there is an alternative to that that I like even better, and it's the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick, you guys. This is, like, to die for. I absolutely love that. Absolutely love it. Are there any questions you guys have before I leave? Aw, uh, thank you, Quinn Vaughn. Drinking lots of water is really, really important to keep your skin hydrated. You're welcome, Angel Baby. I'm going to do a lot of different looks for you guys, so um, get ready for it. Aw, oh, thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. The NYX Lingerie Matte Liquid Lipstick and Embellishment. Some of them go on a little patchy, I think. Okay, 
If you're getting um, matte lipstick and you feel like it's going on patchy, let me explain to you about this. You have to, just like I told you, you have to have a good canvas for your face. You have to have a good canvas for your lips. So what you're going to want to do to make sure that your lipstick or um, especially matte lipstick doesn't go on patchy, take a tiny bit of sugar, a tiny bit of honey, mix it in a little cup or whatever. Okay. You're going to take that. You're going to scrub it on your lips. Now, if you have an extra toothbrush or go to the dollar store and grab a toothbrush, take that toothbrush, dip it into that little mixture I told you. You're going to scrub it onto your lips lightly. That's going to take off any dead skin and make your lips feel like silk. When you apply matte liquid lipstick, it will not look patchy. Um, most of the time, the reason it looks patchy on people's lips is because their lips are dry and you might not even realize your lips are dry, but that's the reason. So try what I told you. You can take one teaspoon of honey, one teaspoon of sugar, mix it up into a little mixture, and then you're going to scrub it onto your lips with a brush, or you can do it with your finger. You're making your own lip scrub. It's really hydrating for your lips. It makes them really smooth and it will make your lips look beautiful and your lipstick even prettier. So are there any more questions you guys have before I leave? Any more questions? You guys, don't forget, those of you coming over from J. Cray TV, we are doing a video today for you all um, that we're super excited about. So don't forget, make sure your notifications are on. Aw, uh, thank you guys. Candy, um, I am not a fan of Clinique at all. Um, Clinique's been around for a really long time. And I feel like Clinique is very high priced, but the quality of their makeup is not, it's not so hot. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like Clinique. Um, as far as like higher end makeup, one of my favorites is Marc Jacobs. And Marc Jacobs really makes some really great uh, foundation, eyeshadow palettes, and a lot of stuff. So um, I don't like Clinique. Yes, we are going live on J. Cray TV. If any of you don't know, we have another channel. I have a channel with my husband. It's called J. Cray TV. So you guys head on over there. Make sure you sub to that channel. It's featured on my channel. Yeah, you guys, one of the biggest things about... Okay, let me tell you why MAC Foundation breaks you out, Lala. MAC Foundation has so many chemicals in it. I was breaking out so bad. My whole entire life, I never had pimples ever. My skin was perfect, clear, smooth, gorgeous. I would walk into a department store to get makeup, okay? And people would be like, oh my God, your skin's beautiful. I was using MAC foundation. I had the MAC, um, oh my gosh. I forget the name of the foundation. I was using all MAC products, MAC foundation, MAC eyeshadows. My face was breaking out, breaking out, breaking out, bad breaking out. Couldn't figure it out. Did some research. MAC has a lot of chemicals. Do not use MAC on your skin. It plugs up your pores, and when it plugs up your pores, it creates really bad acne and irritation of your skin. Um, I do like MAC eyeshadows and stuff like that, but the foundation is a no-go. If you want to use something that is really a good quality foundation that's not super expensive, that's not going to plug up your skin and cause pimples, get the Tarte foundation. Tarte is um, all natural. It's from the Amazon. And all the products are really, really good for your skin. It won't cause breakouts. They have a really beautiful Tarte foundation that just recently came out. Definitely check out Tarte because I really, really love them. Lala, you might think your skin is sensitive, but it really might be the products you're trying. And if you want to try something for sensitive skin, please try Tarte because Tarte is specifically for people that have sensitive skin and all that good stuff. My next giveaway, um, I'm going to be putting together a little package with that makeup. Like I said, I am giving away that whole container of makeup I showed you guys. Obviously, I'm going to do it in separate giveaways, but I'm going to put together um, some packages and I'm going to do a live giveaway on my next video. And that's about it. So I'm going to head out of here because I am about to go with Jay and we're about to go hit another live video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you all for your support. Don't forget, we're about to go live very shortly on J. Cray TV. So if you haven't subbed over there, go ahead and do so. Love you guys.